Welcome to this presentation on HGG ProCam Lite Viewer. ProCam Lite Viewer is a new application free of charge that allows you to view any DSTV files or pipe cutting files created within Tecla. So after you've created your Tecla model you can simply then check the NC data in a 3D visual format also making some measurements if required to check the data is correct before you send it down to the machine for, fa for fabrication. Typically you would have to view this on the machine itself but now anyone involved in that project can view that data to check its, its integrity before it's actually cut and manufactured. Within Tecla we have a range of components that are specifically designed to download to HGG pipe profiling machines. Any beam connections, any kind of copes, weld preparations will pass down to the HEG beam profiling machines. Once these files are created, then you can view them using the ProCam Lite viewer at, for example, with pipes to project level. So that's the full pipe project we've exported from Tecla. This then is the welded assembly level. So you can see then this one particular pipe, the three pipes welded with the joining pipes onto them. All the way down to individual pipes so you can check the weld preparations, the integrity of that piece before it's actually sent for cutting and manufacture. So before the machine itself cuts it we can check the data visually on screen. What we see on screen is what the machine will create. Using ProCam Lite DSDV viewer we can also view the beams before they're sent for manufacture. So again simple beam here with cuts and copes more complicated one with weld preparations and rat holes and of course plates as DSTV such as this lifting look here. Same thing we can then see these files can be checked before the machine will take those and manufacture them. Here we can see the pipe profiling machine with the three dimensional cutting head making the weld preparations at the same time. So when the pipes fit together, you can see it's exactly as what's detailed within the Tecla model, with no need for further work. With the beam coping machine, any notches or copes detailed within Tecla are quite simply cut by the machine, which we have checked using HEG ProCam Lite DSTV viewer. Here we can see a few operations of different types copes and notching. And there we have the machine operation. Okay, so let's take a live look at how all this works, starting with a Tecla model. Here we have our Tecla model. You can see it contains tubular elements as well as beams, large and small. Welded connections, bolted connections, all types. It's this project that we're going to take and download to the tube cutting machine and to the beam cutting machine. So let's create the data for each of those particular processes. First of all the tubes. We will say export, tube NC files, and we'll export this out as tubenc.xml, the default. I'll select all parts because the system automatically knows which parts to export. Let's create that data. And the data is created. Now let's create the DSTV data for the beams and plates and angles. So again, file, export, NC files. I have this set up already for exporting of plates and profiles. I'm also including the contour marking, which is the layout marking for how pieces fit together. Again, for all parts, let's create that data. Before we send those files to production, we'd like to view them to see if the files are correct. But previously, when we wanted to look at the files, we can only look at them in text format. So as you can see here is the DSTV file, which is a list of instructions for the machine to understand and operate. And the same with the XML for the pipe cutting machine. These make no sense to us as detailers, so we want to view these in a 3D format. And that's where we're going to use HGG ProCam Lite. Using HGG ProCam Lite, we can view the files we've just created within Tecla. So first of all, let's take a look at the DSTV files. 
Let's start up the HEG program Lite DSTV viewer. We can quite simply open up the files we have already created, the DSTV files. That's the parts brought in. We can see this is for the beams. And here's an example of a beam with simple sort of copes and notches, outline marking, and also holes. Simple beam. We can spin around that in 3D, obviously. And we can also change that so it's not transparent. And we're viewing that as a solid object, like so. So we can check that's visually correct before it goes to the machine for manufacture. Just take a look at a few other examples. You can see the output is very quick to take a look at exactly what we have here. Another a nice example here, of course, you can see the notches and copes on the outside. Let's just turn on the edges. So we can see the, the well preparations here, the preparations on the edges of the beam. And if need be, we can also do a visual manual check, measurement to check that matches what we've created in the model. We can also now bring in the plates. So let's say import in some other DSTV files. In this case, it's going to be the plates. Select all of those. And then we can also take a look at the plates. Let's just take a look at these in 2D. And we can quickly walk down these plates and see the information we're looking for. So one of the circular plates, top of the pipes. Again, a circular plate, just simple plates, lifting lug. But let's just check these visually so we know these are correct for manufacture. So that's the DSTV viewer. Now let's take a look at the pipes. Again we'll use HEG Procam Lite, this time the pipe viewer. Open up the pipe viewer, go to the model, and we can see the tube NC XML file we created earlier. Again we'll select that and the project is imported into the Procam Lite viewer. Again on here we can take a look at this, you can see we actually have four assemblies. With the tube viewer we can view these elements as assembly level. So let's take a look first of all at A5. If we click on A5 and say view as 3D, we can then view this element, this assembly, as a complete welded assembly, allowing me to check the correct fitment of the pipes together. If we zoom in as well, we can also see the actual mark of the pieces on the tubes. So a nice visual check on there, at assembly level. Then we can take a look at part level. So these are the pipes that make up that assembly. Allow me to simply walk through and check these pipes are correct before I go to production. Let's take a look at another assembly. This time we have a truss that we've exported. Again, if we zoom in, you can see the mark of the pieces that the machine will mark up. And we can visually check the pipe to pipe connections are correct and to the format that we require. Again, if we take a look at each individual item, you can visually view those quickly on screen before I send them down to the machine for processing. I can also check the full model here by viewing the 3D. We can view the whole pipe assemblies in one go, also on screen, giving us a visual representation of the complete pipe assemblies in that project. So there now we can see the most upper level of these pipes within the project and how those all fit together. So from total model level, assembly level, part level, visual check for us within Procam Lite Tube Viewer.